morning fam welcome back to another video today is tuesday march 4th if you are new here my name is stephanie i'm a new graduate nurse i have been documenting my journey since the start of my nursing program and i just graduated this last december so i am continuing my journey now as an rn if you watched my last video, I did talk to you guys a little bit about my new position at my hospital. I have been working at this hospital for about over six months now, I would say maybe about eight months or so. And I was working as a PCNA, but I did pass my NCLEX last month and I was offered a position to stay on my unit, the IMCU, the Intermediate medical care unit day shift which if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that this was a huge deal for me to find a day shift position and i'm so excited that i was offered that position we did not have any days available for a little while and i was kind of nervous i wasn't sure what i was going to do if i was even going to stay in the same hospital but some positions opened up and I was the first person my manager offered the position to and so I am officially an RN in the IMCU. This week I am in my orientation. Yesterday I had my pre-hire assessment which consisted of a math portion and a critical thinking portion. The math portion was super simple even if you're not good at math. I mean it was a piece of cake. I did get a hundred on that and then we had a critical thinking assessment which we don't get the results until wednesday it was pretty cool it was kind of like an ai computerized assessment so we had like 10 different scenarios it was a few of them and it, they gave us a video and gave us a scenario of what's going on with the patient and we had to diagnose the patient pretty much identify the patient problem whether it was mi stroke uh, pulmonary embolism whatever the case was and then we had to identify that problem, uh, write the interventions, rationales, and all that good stuff. And after I didn't really do much, I came home and just like did a bunch of things around the house. I had to do laundry and I did go to the gym and I didn't really film yesterday, but today we are home. I do have the virtual portion of the orientation today. So we're online all day. We have like a bit of a break. It's 9. 24 and we're supposed to be back at 9 25 so i just wanted to hop on here really quick give you guys an update thought that i would take you guys along with me this week on my orientation this orientation is pretty similar to the one that i took when i started as a pcna um, a lot of the information is pretty much the same just the, the presenters are a bit different um but yeah we have to go through it again today and then tomorrow i think we are going to be online again for the first half of the day and then we'll be at the hospital the second half of the day i guess for like simulation lab but okay, looks like we're coming back on, so I'm going to catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, so back to what I was saying before I was suddenly cut off it is now 12 15 we're on our lunch break i am not too hungry for lunch yet i did have breakfast around 10 30 when we had our second break so i'm just gonna have a little snack i have my cottage cheese with creatine banana blueberries and strawberries a little bit of honey and this should hold me over until our next break we actually have a break at 1 30 and then again at 2 30 so i'll probably have lunch on one of those breaks i did prepare a plate for me already so i just had to like pop it into the microwave and i'll have lunch um during a 10 minute break but yeah like i was saying today we are on our virtual orientation and yesterday we did have our assessment so the assessment is pretty much just to see where we're at especially in our critical thinking skills and that will determine how our residency program will go Many residency programs do that, many hospitals do that. They'll have you take an assessment. So um, PCTs or PCNAs in my hospital usually do have to take an assessment as well, but because I was in nursing school, I didn't have to take it then, but I did have to take the one for new hire RNs yesterday. And so I should find out Wednesday how that went and that Again, just determines you know what workshops I have to take, how many classes I have to take, and how the program will go, which is a year residency program. 
Um, but yeah, today is pretty much just going over the basics of the hospital, the values, isolation precautions, PPE, risk management, cultural competency, how to complete SERS reports, all of that good stuff. So just a lot of information today. And yeah, I'll probably be in this training until about 4.30, the schedule says, but she did say that we might get out a little earlier. So maybe by like four, which would be nice. I might go for like a little walk later. I did go to the gym this morning. I woke up early enough for that, which I'm happy about. We got ourselves a nice push day in. So shoulders, chest, and tries and a little bit of cardio just to kind of get our blood pumping for the day. And so I'm glad that I got that out of the way, but I do like to go outside and get some fresh air anyways, especially if I'm in the house all day and I haven't really gotten any sun. And so the sun should still kind of be out. Definitely the sun doesn't go down now until about 7.30. So we should have some good daylight. And I'll probably go on a little walk after our training today. Um, but okay, I'm just gonna have my little snack. I'll probably have a Celsius as well. I was kind of like dozing off <laughs> after breakfast. So I'll probably have me a little pick me up and drink a Celsius after I have my cottage cheese. But all right guys, I will probably catch you at the end of our training session. for the day they did let us out around 3 45 so that was cool so i did have a little snack i had an apple with some beef jerky and i changed it is so hot outside i know i said that i was gonna try to take a walk while there was still sunlight out but i think we might wait a tad and go in about an hour hour and a half um but i am going to ups now in my last video, I showed you some new scrubs that I got, but I did end up exchanging two of the pieces for a different size. And there were just a few that I just didn't love the fit. So I am returning the ones that I don't need. And I also need to go to Publix, but I figured that I would go when I go on my walk because it is like two feet away from my house. It's like right across the street. So I'll probably do that later. But yeah, regardless of the heat, it feels so good to step outside. I was dying on that couch towards the end. My back was killing me. And I usually like to sit on my desk, but my boyfriend works from home, but he doesn't start until way later. And he's like the complete opposite from me. He's a total night owl and he has no trouble sleeping in. I cannot sleep in for the life of me. And so the room is like off limits when I'm up because I'm like always doing something. And so I just try to stay out of there. And so I did set up on the couch this morning, but tomorrow I think I'm gonna stay on my desk. I'm just gonna like try to quietly sit there and start my orientation because we do start at eight again. And we're only gonna be there until about 11.15 or so, she said anyways. And then we have to go to the hospital for skills practice. So, yeah, that should be fun. I was planning on wearing my white scrubs because that's really the recommendation, wear your scrubs, or if you don't have your scrubs yet, wear like business casual attire. And then she mentioned towards the end, like, oh, try to wear business cash if you can, um, just because we're gonna be practicing with fake blood and stuff. And I would hate for you guys to ruin your scrubs. Well, it's not our fault, you guys when us in white scrubs <laughs> and I don't want to ruin my business casual clothes either so you know what I'm just gonna wear my scrubs and hope for the best they're gonna get dirty regardless so I'll just like try to be careful and knowing me I'm so OCD I would like freak out honestly if I got fake blood on my scrubs but <laughs> that's not gonna happen all right we're gonna go to 
UPS. We're gonna drop these things off and I'll probably go home and just like start preparing my lunch and stuff for tomorrow. Just make sure that everything is ready just because I do wanna wake up early again for the gym and we really don't have much time from when our virtual orientation ends to when we have to be in the hospital and we do have to take the shuttle and all that good stuff. So I just don't wanna be rushing and going all crazy. And then once I'm done with that, we will go on our walk. So what you know about teamwork? Cause I've been in the clouds trying to make the dream work. Always done it on my own, that's why I seem hurt. Cause I ain't met no one that ever put me first. So what I know about teamwork? Cause I've only ever done it on my lonesome. I gotta deal through it out, yeah, I grown some. Don't expect love if you've never shown none. I spent last year in the hay, so many records got made I kept that shit to myself, I only wanted my pay I took some time off the stage, got in the bed with the snakes They wasn't doing their job, I let them slither away I wanna build me a team, so I can get to my fans I need someone on my side, that's gonna give me a chance But shit just ain't what it seems, don't let them in on your plans I hope they know what I mean, I hope that you understand So never land, never pan out Wings talk, think I better let them spare out Was too chill, think I better let the man out Grew up with hand me down, now I'm never taking hand out It's mad if you knew all the things I'm on when I'm planned out But I need help to do it, so can I get a fan count? Can I get a fan count? Never understood me, now it's funny how I stand out Me, myself, and I, homie, welcome to the man. So what you know about teamwork? Cause I've been in the clouds trying to make the dream work Always done it on my own, that's why I seem hurt Cause I ain't met no one that ever put me first so what I know about teamwork Cause I've only ever done that on my lonesome I gotta deal through it that, yeah, I've grown some Don't expect love if you've never shown none I know my girl on my side, I'm trying to build us a life Thank all my family alive, and I just want to provide They say it's gonna take time, but I've been losing my mind She helps me grow in the boat, my family ready to ride So why am I feeling low, when life is giving me highs I put my value in sales instead of who's by my side But I can see it's the front, that's why I'm not coming back Yeah, I was slow to react Don't give a damn what they thought of it Yeah, I'm feeling glorious, a flash from the audience Man, should've recorded it I took a color pill, used my computer skills Now I got agents after me, word up the future I saw today, do this till I'm bored with it. Alright guys, happy Wednesday. It is now the next day, as you guys can probably tell. It is 11.33 a.m. We did just finish the virtual portion of today's orientation. They let us out at around 11, so that was good. Giving us plenty of time to change, have some lunch, and head out. Now, for lunch today, we decided to have ourselves some leftover pizza because today was leg day and we deserve it. <laughs> yes, we made it to the gym this morning. I was up, eyes wide open at 3.55 a.m. Ask me why, I have no idea, <laughs> but we were able to make it to the gym and back in time to wash this hair and blow dry it again because, I mean, it gets oily overnight, it's insane. But yeah, now we're just going to try to get ourselves a bit together. I do want to try to get there a little early. I want to try to go up to my floor and see my manager because I still haven't gotten my new ID badge. And I know that she has to give us a form pretty much checking off, you know, everything that we're supposed to have access to. And I have to present that to the security office um, so that I can get my ID. So I'm going to try to get there early enough to go see her, hopefully get that done and then make it to the other building for our um, second half of training. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of eye makeup, just like my brows and some mascara. Um, wishful thinking that I can multitask. I swear, I always try to and I, I swear I can. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go and get this done. And we're just gonna eat really quick. I did make a peanut butter jelly and I'm gonna take that with me with an apple just in case I get hungry later, just because I'm like, oh, it's hungry. 
and yeah, I already have like my bag and I have a sweater because they warned us, bring a sweater or else you will freeze your asses off verbatim. So <laughs> have that packed, ready to go. And yeah, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> It is now Thursday, April 6th. I just realized I haven't spoken to you guys since yesterday afternoon when I was on my way to the hospital for my second half of orientation, but it is now the next day. So we are done with day four of orientation this week. Yesterday we did have a skills day. We practiced starting IVs working with the IV pump. So like setting up primary bags, secondary bags, um, and like more basic skills, like how to put on restraints and pericare or catheter care, things like that. And then today was our ECG class, which I loved. I wanna get so, so good at reading strips. You guys, I feel like it's such a great asset to have. And our educators are awesome. Just like our whole staff development team is so great that's one thing that i love about the hospital that i work at there are so many resources available to us like we are never left hanging dry so i love that the multidisciplinary team is so huge like any type of provider specialist like anything you need they're there except for like pediatric or ob because we don't have any of those units at our hospital but I'm honestly loving orientation and our training so far. I think we are so well prepared in our residency program and they really make sure that we become like the best nurses that we can be. So I am so happy about that. Tomorrow will be our EPIC training, which is just like our electronic health record system. It is a little bit different for nurses, although I've been using it as a PCT, I kind of know a little bit about it, but there are a lot more features obviously. Um, for nurses. So we will have our training tomorrow. And then our last day of orientation is Monday, which is our vascular access training. But yeah, it is going well so far. I was able to get my ID. I hate my picture, <laughs> but it was so funny because I asked to have my picture retaken because I didn't really like the picture that I had for my PCT ID. And she took my picture and <laughs> I hate it more. <laughs> like, I like the other one better. So just like, don't fix what ain't broke, right? <laughs> but whatever, um, it is what it is. We got our new ID, it says RN on it, super cool. And we also got our schedule for the first week. So I will be on the floor next Wednesday and Thursday. So about a week from today. <laughs> and I'll be working with a preceptor, which I already know who it's going to be. And I'm so excited. I love her. And I know that I'm going to learn so much from her. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be on the floor already. The assessment that I had to take on Monday, the critical thinking portion, it was graded. And we got the results yesterday. And I did so well in my critical thinking assessment that I did not have to take the extra classes next week. So after Monday, which we all have to take the vascular access training, but then there are additional workshops Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, or just like Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm not sure. And if you didn't do so well in that assessment, it wasn't a pass or fail, but if you just didn't answer to their standards, then they ask you to take those workshops just to like brushen up um, on problem identification and diagnosis and like things like that. 
So I won't have to take those and I'll just be on the floor come next Wednesday. So I am excited, excited, excited. And you guys, it is so important for you guys to be picky about the hospitals that you work at. Do not sell yourselves short. You are worth so much. You are one of the greatest assets of a hospital, of any healthcare system. Without you, there ain't shit. And mind you, yes, the system is still flawed where nurses are not appreciated as much as they should be. But one thing that I do appreciate about my hospital is that they do the best they can to provide us with all the resources that we can possibly have to make our jobs easier, to make sure that we love going to work every day. There are so many opportunities for growth, for continuing your education, for furthering your career. I just love that I'm starting where I am, that I got my day shift position, which is another thing I heard time and time and time again. You don't even know how many times. Every single time that I told somebody that I was going for a day shift position, they were always like, <laughs> good luck. Like new nurses always start night shift. Like just prepare yourself. You're not gonna get a day shift position. I'm not gonna say what I wanna say but look at me now. <laughs> so I'm just super grateful and thankful. And I know that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. But all right, we are back home. We showered, we changed. And I think that I'm going to cut some pineapple that I have in the fridge because it is more than ripe and I don't want it to go bad. I did want to get that done yesterday, but you guys have no idea what happened to me yesterday. So I had mentioned in my last video that I had gone to put air in my tires because I noticed that my front left tire was a bit flat and I found it weird because I had put air like not too long ago it's been a couple months and those tires are relatively new as well but I do drive a lot and I noticed that it was like practically on the floor and I was like okay well, let me just go put air in it and it filled up fine and then a few days later it was flat again and so I'm like okay this is very strange and Mighty, for the last like couple weeks or so, my car has been shaking a lot. Like the steering wheel shakes, like everything shakes, especially if I'm like on the highway. But it started happening before I realized my tire was flat. So I didn't really put two and two together. But I do know that tires can cause that. Like later I thought about that and I was like, wait, my tire could be causing this. And so I like inspected my tire when I got back from orientation yesterday and I noticed that it was like scraped and there were metal fibers like coming out of the rubber. And I was like, okay, this is not good. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, you have to come check this out because I'm like scared, I don't feel safe. And so we went to go check it out. And my boyfriend looks at the tire, looks at me, and then looks at the tire and then looks at me. And he's like, how long has this been like this? I'm like, I don't know. I just realized that the tire looked like this today, but it had been flat for like a couple of days now. Even after I put air in it, it's like flat again. He's like, this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. Your tire could have popped and ran you off the road like any minute now. And so I was freaking out. <laughs> I'm like, well, what do I do? I gotta go to work tomorrow. I don't have a tire. And this car I actually got for my grandmother like two years ago. I needed something fast, something that was gonna get me from A to B, and my grandmother was moving back to Columbia, and so she gave me the car. I was living in Miami at the time, and I didn't have a car. I was just riding the metro everywhere. I was riding my bike. Like, I didn't really need a car when I was living down there. But then when I moved back to Broward, I'm in the suburbs, I needed a car. So I got that car, I fixed it up, it was running great, and it's been lasting me. It's a beautiful car. But I am now approaching the time that I need a new vehicle. And I'm literally like, I want to get a vehicle at the end of this month. And I'm like, how is all of this happening now? Like just a few weeks before I'm going to get this new car. <laughs> but anyway, so I was just like praying to God that we had a donut in the trunk because I had, I, I didn't really know. Thank God that I did. I actually had a brand new spare tire, like the same size as the other ones. It wasn't even a donut. And so I was like, oh my God. Hallelujah. So my boyfriend helped me change the tire yesterday. What a mission getting that tire off. Oh my God, my poor boyfriend. And we were like sweating and like all dirty and stuff. And we finally got it done, but I was just like exhausted by that time. I was like done. And so that is 
also part of the reason why I didn't really stop to chat with you guys at all last night. I was just like in bed. I even like slept in a little bit this morning. I decided to have me a rest day and I was just like, I need to chill. And honestly, I can't help but feel so freaking grateful. Like God is so great, so almighty always keeping me safe out of harm's way. Like thinking back and realizing for how long that car was shaking and for my tire to be so bad that nothing happened to me. And you guys, I drive a lot. And on top of that, for there to be a whole new, brand new spare tire in my trunk, it's just like, you're amazing. You're amazing. But all right, guys. So I think we're gonna go ahead and cut this pineapple. I also have some meatballs defrosting that I'm gonna make for lunch tomorrow. I don't have to be there until 8.30 tomorrow, so I will probably hit the gym before then. And yeah, tomorrow is our last day of orientation for the week. I am off this weekend and then we're back on Monday and we're getting so close to being on the floor. I'm waiting for the special touch you give.